Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you're watching CVNuts video series on C++ exception handling and this is a throw video and in this video we'll see why and how you actually throw primitive data types. So let's quickly jump into that. Before going ahead, I would like to add to the previous video and yeah, if you are following new, you can follow me from the previous video, which is the first video of this whole series. So this series is exception handling. So in previous video, we actually learned that this vector can actually throw if you go and try to access out of bound or out of range element. Let's say you are going to access third element, then it will give you an error. Let me just compile this. And if you'll see this, it is telling you vector. So whatever exception you receive, you should receive it with constant reference. And there is a function in all the standard exceptions where you can call this what function and it will tell you like what is giving the exception or a detailed exception reason. Okay. So here it is telling it is giving you a exception on vector. So in previous video, we saw that if you go out of range into vector and try to access something, it will throw an exception out of range exception. So it automatically throws, but there is a keyword throw, which you can use to throw your own exception. And in this video, we'll cover that only. And if you're wondering like, why would you throw? Because if you already know something that, okay, this is going to get wrong or something is actually reaching to the exception, then you can handle there itself, right? Why would you throw it and then receive somewhere else and then handle it? The point is, it's like this. You can have that particular exception at many different places, but the handling should be at one place. Because if you'll keep handling, at different different places it's a duplication so you will end up duplicating your handling code at different different places whereas you could have just simply kept it at one place and throw from all those places i think this makes sense that's why you can throw yourself saying that okay i have reached to a point where it should be handled so let's see what all those built-in throw exception look like let's say you encounter some issue and depending on issues Maybe you want to throw uh, integer exception, character exception, float exception, double exception, or even a string exception. So how we'll do that? Let's see that. So you can just simply throw from here because it's a track and catch blocks. You can throw maybe one. So this is integer throw 1.1. This is a double. If you want to throw a float, then you have to say 1.1 F and Let's say you are throwing character, let's say A, then this. And if you are throwing string, you can throw a string also. I am exception. Okay. And you can throw string data type itself. So for that, we can say string, std string and std exception. Cool, right? Now, these are the exception. Let's implement the catch block. I'll quickly implement that. So we are ready. Actually, it took some time to write all these things. Yeah. So if I'll compile now, I know the answer is integer exception one. So we are sending one from here and we are receiving that here. Now we will have to comment this throw here. I mean, first throw to in order to get this throw, because the moment you encounter throw, you know that it will come out of this block and it will go here. So that's the reason why you should throw because you will only throw when you will encounter some issue and you know that, okay, I have a handling for that particular issue. So let's go and handle that. So I'm not trying to reproduce all the issues here so that I, I can show you that the point is this is also possible. So for the sake of completeness, I'm giving you this video and you might be wondering why this a is considered character only why it is not casted into integer number because the ascii will be something right maybe 97 or something no actually the point is it won't allow you to implicit cast it is restricting here it won't type cast this into integral number it will still send this as a character that's why we can actually catch it as a character exception so now let me comment this we'll quickly complete this video i'll run this compile this and run this double exception 1.1 and you know that in programming if you want to write float you have to append f after that right now let's see f is coming or not sorry yeah so float exception 1.1 and if i'll comment this now we should be able to see the character exception c character exception a these things are a little silly, I know, but I have to give you these videos for the sake of completeness of the whole series. And now 
if I will comment this guy, then we are going to get this as a constant character pointer. So compile this and execute. I am a constant character exception. So whatever is thrown from here, you actually receive that. And always remember, you should receive refer. I mean, throwed whatever you are throwing from there as a reference or to say constant reference because you are not going to change that here. And why constant reference? I mean, why reference? The point is you should not create that as a copy so that you are safeguarding yourself from not throwing to create a copy out of it because upcoming videos you will see that we can have our own exception class or exception custom exception handling. So in that case, it is possible that you may end up actually throwing from there itself. So it is better to create or receive as an exception here. I mean, reference here. So let's quickly see the last one and we'll sum up this video. Answer is, yeah, std string exception. So whatever you are sending from here, you can receive it from here. So this is done and we are going to see in next video that how you write your own custom exception for bigger handlings, meaning you will write your own exception class just to handle exceptions. And there are facilities and we'll see like, why would you use that? So I'll sum up this video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.